Now, though, let's come back to the studio where I'm seated with ENC political editor Vuyom Vogo. Thank you very much for your patience, Vuyom. We had to go to Chris Nissen quickly while we had him on the line. When you answer the first question, we are talking about the report that's on the front page of the Mail and Garden newspaper today that uh, Minister Lindiwe Sisulu is in a bid for the ANC presidency in 2020. To get there, she's made some interesting appointments. Some of the people supported her in her unsuccessful 2017 ANC presidential campaign at NASREC. And people are saying she's trying to get them close to begin to campaign for 2022. And one of those appointments which you have highlighted is that of Batabile. I mean, the uh, 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 lady who has really uh, been uh, uh, found wanting in terms of leadership and management of Sasa, Concord, finding her uh, 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 guilty of all kinds of, uh, of, 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 of matters. And, she's, and you are saying because of that, it looks like Sisulu is trying to get the Women's League for at least to be on her side ahead of 2022. Because in 2017, they didn't support her. They supported mm. Nkosa Zana Jamini Zuma. Mm. So there's clearly a realignment. Um, of forces driven, of course, by personal nefarious and other agendas. But what can be, uh, <laughs> what can symbolize the worst betrayal um, of South Africans more than what uh, Lindy Wessisulu has done with or is doing with Batabile Lamini here? Because this administration promised the people of South Africa that uh, it is going to correct the wrongs of the past, that it is going to lead by example. Now, how do you take a Batabile Lamini and put her in such a position of uh, responsibility? I think it's important for us to give our viewers a, an idea of what is this what is she supposed to be doing? She's going to be the new chair of the Social Housing Regulatory Authority Interim Board. Now, this board was set up in 2010 in terms of the Social Housing Act to invest in and regulate social housing for people earning between 1,500 and 15,000 rand a month. So those are the poor. So the poor are going to suffer here. And, uh, and uh, I mean, are you, is someone telling us that of all what, 57 million odd people in South Africa, the only person you could choose uh, to lead this agency is Batabile I mean, we've had these stories before. That's why we ended up with people like Claude Mutsuaneng at, uh, at, the, at the SABC. Now, but there are other appointees, sorry for you, there are other appointees besides the one that you're highlighting, which is very important, the one of Batabile Lamine, which is very odd, in, judging by the background, and really fuels the speculation that she wants the Women's League on her side. That's Lindy Wesu ahead of 2022. There are other appointees that are said to be part uh, of the department's or her ministerial national rapid response task team, some of them were part of that 2017 mm -hmm. thing. Is that also an indication that she wants those who assisted her, who understand her way of leadership closer now, and they're a part of a, of, a, of a department? I mean, obviously, I mean, the whole crowd, that motley bunch that she moved with, um, who were uh, uh, the brains and the legs and hands and eyes of her campaign um, are still with her in the pursuit of, uh, of this dream, right? So they will, they will flock um, together. I mean, she made no secret of the fact that she was very unhappy with how things turned out. Remember, in the last interview we had with her in the run-up to the NASREC uh, conference, she couldn't understand why a Cyril Ramaphosa could be her running mate, but with her as you know, <laughs> the preferred president of uh, that ticket. And uh, after elections, yes, in, in fact, in government, if you listen to about, uh, some of the people who have had to work with her have to say, uh, she hasn't stopped behaving uh, uh, defiantly, perhaps, and saying, you know, I mean, why should I be scared of anybody if I have personal ambitions? The ANC constitution allows me to contest any position that I would want to contest. And she knows for a fact that it doesn't matter what South Africans think. It is the ANC at the end of the day that will give her what she wants. How best to use the structures of the ANC is what made the difference between uh, Jacob Zuma leaving way before he actually left. Mm -hmm. But he was shrewd. He knew how to use the ANC structures to his benefit. And that's exactly what Lindy Wessel is trying Thank to do. Thank you very much for your insights there. ANC's political editor, Vuyo Mvoko.